hey, if you're building the part in Fusion 360, avoid this mistake. Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. Today we want to talk about a mistake that I've seen a lot of new users make and something that I made when I was learning CAD for the first time. So if you want to model something like this, the strategy to keep in mind is, is there a profile that solves this cleanly, maybe with one sketch or with just two? So when I'm looking at this model, if you were to try and attack this in maybe two steps, it becomes quite challenging. Let's look at that. Starting from the bottom, extruding that up, trying to do it again with a, another rectangle, then adding the fillets. We even use a full round fillet. So that looks good, and then we'd still have to come back in and do a hole. So how many steps is that? Okay, so the dimensions are a little off, but that's okay. Hopefully you're seeing the example. So this was a sketch and extrude, another sketch and extrude, a fillet, and then a sketch and a cut out, right? So looks like basically four features, three sketches. That's a lot of work for this same part. So how can we get this in a more elegant way? How can we solve it? So if you're new to CAD and design, this is easily solved in this example by doing one sketch, sketching the rectangle, a line and an arc, and a circle. We're able to do this all in one feature. And we don't necessarily need to do it all in one feature. You could do the whole separately. But the point is, you're able to solve this profile very easily from one direction. So keep that in mind. Try not to make that mistake. And let's look at one more example. So in this case, maybe you're tempted to start from the top, you know, with a rectangle, work your way down, and then cut this out. Again, look at this profile. If I'm looking from the top, and then want to piece this together that takes several steps. Instead, I can simply sketch that shape. This is the sketch that I want. Extrude it and give it depth. Going back, this is the easiest profile by far. Hey, if you're learning Fusion 360, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. Check out these other videos. I'll see you in the next one.